the NBA Rival Week on 2K Sports. The next matchup I'm about to be seeing, the Northwest Divisional. As you see, season number four, the Denver Nuggets and the Utah Jazz. They both met each other since the, since the game that was happened here in December 5th, 1976. It was all that happens to be one of the better games that everyone has done before. But there is another way that they can try to keep on things going. The latest meeting was happened here on January 10th was 2024. That happened to be 124 over 111 for the Jazz. Now, this next one comes to be one of in between. When the 1976 to 77 NBA season. And this rivalry is notable in that it is features only the two NBA teams based in the Rocky Mountains. And this is what happens to be one of them, right in between of Salt Lake City of Utah and Mile High of Denver, Colorado. This is the only battles range that happened to be one of the better teams before. This happens to be in the postseason. In between the 1984 for the Western Conference, as the Jazz won 3 and 2 in the first round. And in 1985, as the Nuggets made a win 4 1 in the semifinals. Then back in 1994, the Jazz wins again in the semifinals 4 to 3. And then 2010 was the Western Conference of the first round. Jazz with 4 and 2. And in 2020, Nuggets made that one all to beat over by the Jazz with a close game in Game 7. But now, who they are? They're ready to do it again? Let's find out who the boss is. The starting lineups are in between the Nuggets and the Jazz. Jamal Murray, Contavious Carlball Pope, Michael Porter Jr., Aaron Gordon, and Nikola Jokic. And we are the other side, Chris Dunn, Colin Sexton, Larry Markkinen, John Collins, and Walker Kessler. Time for the next commentaries. I will have the next one coming up. It will be Summit Feast, along with the one with the commentators on the other side. And this will all be for everything as we see what's pretty again. And the third commentary, Terry Crews. I'll be back with the post game show and of course. The halftime show is coming up with Irby Johnson, then Shaq O'Neal, and Kenny the Jet Smith. See you all later after the final quarter. Oh yeah, I always do that. <laughs> what a great voice impression of me. Now, don't care? Too bad, you're out of your luck. Let's get the game started. The Conference of the Northwest Divisional starts now. UK Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA Rival Week. And this is where it comes in. All for team, the Jazz and Nuggets. Hold on to your seats as we will be underway shortly. Coming up. Greetings everyone in Salt Lake City, I am Sonny Feast, and I am here with my broadcasting partner with Wood Spooning. Along the other side we have across is Terry Cruz and David Aldrich on a sports side. It's going to be a great battle in between of the Rocky Mountains of Salt Lake City and the Mile High of Denver Nuggets. The key matchup is in between by Nikola Jokic and Walker Kessler. These are the top plays in between, and we are finding who they are. As Michael Porter Jr. is on Larry Markkinen, they are looking to get a number one to take. The question is, who's going to take it over? Well, I have a lot of a range of this feeling. This may have been the toughest on the offense that everyone has been playing for. And I'm thinking the Jazz might take it, or the Nuggets can take it. There may be another way that can tell it off. Well, game time, let's do it. The ball sip, Nuggets will have a possession, all peeled up and ready to go. Murray, he's on with Dunn. Then it's Aaron Gordon, right on John Collins. Across the other side, it's Larry Markman on Michael Porter Jr. Then it's Kessler on Jokic, and finally, it's Contavious Carball Pope, and he's also recovered here for the last of the player on the other side of the offense. Murray is at the free throw line as the first foul is called on Dunn. That'll be his first personal foul. 
not easier way, but you're gonna have to like try to keep things all down. And it's not really easy when you're doing this on offense. You gotta take a break on that. Two free throws on his way to start up for Jamal Murray. First free throw misses. Aaron Gordon is also with uh, playing the, well on John Collins. And finally, the other one that we are calling for Jamal Murray, he's like the biggest on the drive, the era. It's definitely the, the Murray elevation, but he's definitely have been doing it to call for his next level appearance, but he's been doing it for his next game. The ultimate lay, I'm not even sure if he can definitely do that, but his ultimate career is making successful. He has to be doing it at the right timing. Can't really say if he can do that, but let's make it clear. He has a lot of his uh, percentage to take, and it's a lot of it hard ones that go by near here. Sexiness on continues Carlo Pope, and a trajectory put up by Carlo Pope. Stopping the inbound on Contavious Carbo Pope. Screen on Jokic. Try to watch out from here. Dish off to Jokic. And a shot. Good take. And marking it, and this will be his first bucket after the assist by Contavious Carbo Pope. You know, it's easier if you can give it off to Jokic. He's gone pretty well at it. Aggressively, take it all response. Done on Murray. Back outside is Merkinen. Needs to look for new changes. Khan takes the screen. Inside the arc, Merkinen takes a two-pointer. He has that first bucket inbound under six minutes. You know it's easier when Laurie Merkinen has that one in there after the Bulls? He might have been doing his own time, but it may not be the pressure to take all of his responses. Ball stolen away as Contavious Carwell Pope has it back. Here's the fast break. Two puts in from Contavious Carwell Pope. He has his second bucket. They have five and two over the range. Watch out now. If he's going to take a steal, he's going to have to put up the fast break. Kessler on Jokic. Trying to give it over again to Dunn around Murray. Top shot angle as Dunn has his first bucket. Everybody's been scoring in here. Don't want to get away with this. They're going to need to like keep it out of there on its own side. Just do your best. Nobody can try to like make a stop out of him if you want to do it again. Good team by Markkinen. He has his first rebound of the night. Now back the airway. Sucks in on the outside. Reaches again to Dunn. Dunn try to look it over. He wants to give it back over again to Markkinen. Down to seven. Three for Collins. Misses the outside as Kessler will have it back. Sexton tries to regroup it on the offense. Looks a swing. Done. Bounce pass to Sexton. Again, Markkinen. Shoots over from Michael Porter Jr. It's good. He has that two pointer. Another one takes it in, and they have the lead up by one. You know what the drive does for Markkinen? He has to give it all to his credit. Work me tight. It's not for him, but he has to do all for his currency to keep on going. Here's Murray. Tries to deliver it off. Almost tipped. Delay on the arc. Good D by Kessler. Kessler gets it done. Done. Try to look it over. Outside is Markkinen. Markkinen try to look it again. Here's the free for Dunn, and kaboom! <laughs> now back again is Murray. The team is trailing by four. Jokic, trying to lift it off. Here's Jokic, the race the inbound to the attack the win. Oh, wow, what well a dunk. You know the performance is really going to be great. Nikola Jokic, the joker, he really likes taking his pressure. All alone, wants to throw it down. Ah, I never know what you can definitely do. But don't take him too much time out there. If you wanted to go with a dunk, just race towards the rim. That's all you can care for. Sexton, over again. Continues parallel, both is good. It's Colin Sexton with his first bucket. Now back again is Murray. Here's Contavious Carlo Pope, he does it again. 
Another breakdown for the Utah Jazz. Timeout called by the Jazz. They are his first timeout. Do you know the appearances of what contain is part of the guys? He makes it louder, you can just have to like keep that one thing over. It really has to be a, like a maturity. But you might have to do for all at once to try to keep on coming out. And as your new coach here right now for the Utah Jazz, is this one will be detainable to keep that one over for, for his game. And this one, Will Hardy. He simply he used some colorful commentary to describe for this team's 50-point loss to the Luka Doncic and the Dallas Mavericks. He definitely has been talking to one of his uh, appearances, and he has all made his quote out there. It was hard, but not anybody is good like Luka Doncic. I have a tough feeling for him. He's been doing really well, and he's played for the outer league in the international section. It doesn't really help for me to try to like keep on courtesy out, but this is what nobody has done. I tried to find someone else who could try to get 50 points or more, but I have to handle it all by my own. Well, <laughs> no easy luck out there. If you got anybody open up, just don't do it. Well, a lot of hard ones to maintain. I mean, not easy to take, but let's have it off when they can get. And a look for this season for Colin Sexton. Now here's George. The team trails by two. George gives it over to Horton Tucker. George needs to find some number uh, open offensive as a possession. Find Horton Tucker. Free for Collins. Races a bound for Clarkson. And lay up in. Clarkson with his first bucket. Reggie Jackson with the ball. Screen on containing Scarborough Pope. Two man defender. Carwell open look. Free catches in. This one comes back down by one, and we are down to two minutes remaining. Ah, oh, just gotta have to keep that one open there, Loki. If you have no idea what you're doing, don't get over this. You have to keep it going with you every time. That's what they do to get it done. Bounce pass, almost tipped, and now back to Hendricks. Here's another one for George. George to finish around the drive, and this one was a tough shot to take. George has to set first bucket for his bench points. They have the first one to bucket in. Really need to keep that one out there because the George really had to make a drive of his appearance and lay it up. Now I'm back the other way and this one will be Braun, his first bucket of his layup drive for his first career. Now, here's Hendricks. He now finds Collins on a shot. Good pass assist by Hendricks. And this will be his first assist. As Collins with his first bucket. Everybody gets it first soon. Not anybody who can definitely try to like keep on being going. Oh, that one's gonna be a hard contact out there. That's John Collins. And he went slamming on Contagious Cobo Pope. He had to fade the shot, but he had to try to avoid it. And Will Party knew he had to watch out for that. Contagious Cobo Pope with the free for one shooting two. This will be their first and second trip to the free throw line. He hits the first free throw. Now I'm not crazy because of what happened to John Collins. He was hitting an elbow. If he definitely did that, you know the ref would have to signal that one here. Uh huh, yeah, I, I must tell you. You better watch out what you're going for. If you're not doing it right, you have to watch it for yourself. Because that hard defense is going to put up a strike. It's not going to be helpful enough to give a gun. That's a hard one to take. Advantage skills, you need to do something else a quick favor. And John Collins knew he had to avoid it. Clarkson, pass pass to Collins. On the double man take, pass again to Clarkson. Looks again to George. Wide open look. Horton Tucker with three. That's his first three and Clarkson with the assist. Keeping range in sight, looking good, comfortable, and he just gone. Carmel Pope 
Going back one. Oh, and he dug it again. Another clutching three-pointer at the moment as they are back down by one. Looking to get more for Horton Tucker. For the bench points, here's George. George takes a swing to Collins. On the layup. Rolls him and out. Nagy with his first rebound of the game. And Caldwell Pope take the lead. Misses on the outside. Hendricks with his first rebound of the night. Now Collins, will he swing it? And he will have to drive that one in. Right around by Nagy. Easy come, easy go. Collins, a perfect layup scoop. Jackson, trying to take the three. And it went off the rim. That ends the first quarter for the 22-19. A little bit closer on this range in the first period, but we'll find out who's the next bucket take. It's great enough. Rocky Mountains, lay it up. Might need to do for a second change if you can. We'll be right back with you for the second quarter, coming up after this. And if you're just tuning in, we are getting ready for the second quarter. 22-19 is a close range to beat. And a start will put up for George. Hasn't really scored yet for his second quarter. Only one for the first quarter. Now, here's Kessler. Now find Marketing. Gordon is on him. Try to beat over Gordon. And you can. Laurie Marketing with his third bucket. Beating over Aaron Gordon. He is saying, nope, I'll take this. Well, it's always appearance as he is trying to avoid the taco. I can't do uh, how he does. Marketing with a rebound. Try to stop here by, by, a, by the Denver team and sets it up. And he went short. Sharper with his first foul. And he would have finished the bucket and won. And they would have count that one. I don't know what he does, but Colin Suxton really made his appearance to drive that. He must have his hand on the ball on a little piece of it, but he got caught in his elbow right between from the hand and, and from the elbow and right in between of the front of the arm of his hand. Not going to be a hard one, but don't to make him loose of it. Sexton at the free throw line shooting two after a foul has been called for a team foul on Denver. Knocks down the first free throw. A new changeup will be coming in. As Dunn checks in for George. Good on a second. Now here's Murray. Tries to take his own time on Dunn and now find Gordon. Gordon again a Stroffer. Watching from angle to angle. Inside Jokic for the two. Lay up in. This one comes back down by five. Easy not to say for Nikola Jokic. He got that layup in there. Might have been taking it for a free pointer or not. He just made him feel like he was going to get there. Really easy to say it for sure. That went great. Done. Again to marking it. Marketing. Try to hold on again. Coming up with a loss against the Golden State Warriors. He only had 35 points. Really may have been a pressurized if he could try to like stay on attack. But his team didn't get the effort. Well, the effect is that Golden State Warriors really are dominating this effort. And they are battling for in between. From the from Rocky Mountain and from the Pacific Coast. He didn't really think he was going to have it all. That's a hard one to try to send it off. You don't really take enough of control out of it, you don't do it enough. That's what happens most of the games. They get knocked out pretty hard. Sexton. Marketing for three. Good! Way outside the range with nine points. 29 to 21 to score. And their timeout being called by a mile high. Under five minutes remaining in the first half. Looking to get more pointer to have the scoring drop. AC pressure makes it easier, and the hot one might be getting it out of the way. 
really got to keep on going. As we say right now, we definitely have to note this. If the Jazz wins again and they step back into the play-in tournament, then they're looking for is another appearance. Since last major in 2020 was the last part of the game, and 2021 was the last one that they were in the playoffs the, the last time they were here. They were really are stepping in bounds. But in 2022 and 23, they were under the limit. They didn't really have a lot of pressure to take. And this was all it has to end up for their regular season, and their end of a loss was all it happens to be one of them. Now, I'm not crazy enough what this is, but I'm thinking what goes happening if there's another chance if they wanted to do this. Maybe because they wanted to, like, get more buckets down. Maybe they wanted to put the defender on there for sure. Who could ever know? There might be a changing that they could definitely do it. New substitute change is right now we look at Aaron Gordon. 14 points, 6 rebounds, and 2 assists for his last 30 days of his career effort. Looking to get more out of him if he wants to beat his record. Here's Gordon. Screen on Jokic. Jokic finds again to Gordon and now over to Porter Jr. Murray on the outside on Dunn. Screen on Jokic. Watching his stepping. Fade the shot. Gordon back to Porter Jr. Great ball movement for Denver and he will have to pluck it in there. Jokic with the foul, the loose ball, and they singled it. It is good for the three pointer outside for Strucker. And now he'll have to put it back down by five. Well, I don't know if it would have to count that one. If there was an offensive foul, that means no bucket. They can't let that happen again. I mean, this is a hard one that nobody is ever doing this before. That's a close call. Mark it in. Up with the two. Good! And arranges range from the free throw. It makes 11. 4-10 to go in the first half of the period. Murray finds Porter Jr. Now he looks inside. From baseline, he finds now back to Murray. And Jokic on Kessler. Tries to watch him close. Good D on Kessler. He all have his third, fourth rebound of the night. And now back again to Kessler. Now marking it on the outside on Gordon. Looks now to Colin Sexton. It's blocked by Jokic. Porter up at the two. No good. That was really a hard effort because Nikola Jokic really had to step that one in trouble. But this one is not the die to be here. After the, after the miss by the Jazz, the fouls called on Strawford. The Jazz only hit the last 10 games and they're in last place of 120. Now, just because they're really that impressive and they're hard working hard, that doesn't mean they are giving up everything. They do the best as they could. They didn't really think he was going to have to give that one all of his pressure on his appearance. With eight points being gone, he, uh, he didn't really have to, like, take all of his effort. Would, do, would Dunn be able to do this one again if he has to, like, take the risk of it? Well, I'm not sure if he would, but in that case, I may have decided, what could you do if you can't try to, like, keep on going? Just gotta keep on pressuring it out, that's for sure. Gordon with the two. Three-pointer, we made that in. Time out call by Utah Jazz. 2.47 left to go. And we have a reporter for David Aldrich, and he has been talking with his head coach, Mike Malone. Now, because of Mike Malone, he really had that one a lot of great strength. He has to do for us a lot of, like, uh, a step and bound, and he wants to do his next level. It might be today, but nobody could ever do. But if you know how hard you want to do, you have to show who you're guarding to. And this is the hard thing that nobody has ever done like this before. Uh-huh, yeah, and easier can be a lot of frustration here for Mike Cronone. I'm putting the assistant down where it's going to be a hard one to tight. Not even easier enough that you want to keep on scooping it off. And this is a hard thing right now. And hey, sky's the limit out there. I mean, try to show who you can do. 
and this is what happens. Possibilities never going to fail here. You're never going to get out of here, and you're never going to give up. That's what you do. Just show who you are. Play it right. That's a simple deal. You can definitely get. Coming up later will be the halftime show, as we will have is all three commentators as Kenny and Jack Smith, Bernie Johnson, and Shaq O'Neal for the first half of the period of the Jazz and the Nuggets. Take a look at the Western Conference as Denver, right in fourth place, Utah fighting for trouble to stay out of the line, and they might be looking for it for another appearance before the playoff spot begins. Now he will swing to Clarkson. Done! On its way free! Misses again! Another miss by Utah. Not easy to go through, and you can't just get away with that one to stop the pressure. Ball's been taken by Hendricks. All alone! And he's fouled! Nature with the foul. And John Collins boy knew he would have had a layup after a deep pass by Dunn. Oh, he could be easier to tie his layup. He would have fight that shot, but it wasn't that easy to look at the basket and count that bucket in. Another trip to the free throw line will be the Utah Jazz with only 2.24 to go. And now a new substitution will come in for the Denver Nuggets. Aaron Gordon is checked out as Watson is checked in. The Utah Jazz are also making new changes here on the guard positions. And he delivers two free throws for John Collins. This could take his carball poke. Gives it off to Neji. Neji trying to look for an open room. He now finds again DeBron. Back pass to Carball Pope. On the shot. Good layup for Cortavius Carball Pope. The tricky angle puts it back again. As Brown with the assist. It got really helpful. It just keep on going. You just gotta make the appearance go in. Nearing the two-minute mark as right now is Hendricks. Past the two-minute mark. Excuse my uh, correction. Here's Clarkson. Over to Carter Jr. Over Braun, excuse me. And another miss comes in. Shocks it. With the layup. And a double had to throw it down. Back down by four. Jackson shows response. He wants to hush the crowd and just lay it off with the close game in the first half. Not easy you could do that. How could Reggie Jackson do that? Is that a fight what you want to do? Not even my choice. Not in my watch you would know for. <laughs> Three point for Dunn. That one missed it in and out. And it's now down to a minute left as Jackson will have his ball possession. Braun, back to Jackson. Looks to Braun with the shot. Rolls in and out. On Clarkson. Back to Watson. Ten on a shot clock. Screen on Aji. Inbound, layup. Darling, and a loose ball picks up as Hendricks with the rebound. That's a hard one to do for this with fighting rebound. This could be a trickier one, so everyone's keeping it going. Clarkson, up. Two-pointer misses again. 25 seconds left with the shot clock and game clock. Bronson is on Hendricks. The layup and the reach of fouls called on Horton Tucker. That'll be his first foul. And right now the new changeup comes in for George. Checking in for Dunn. 16 seconds left to go. Here's Carwell Pope. 15 seconds left. He finds Watson. Looks again at Carwell Pope. Six in the shot clock. Brian. Watching here with the two. And they will have to leave it off from here. 
35 31 to score. Denver trail by four, and we have approached to the halftime. Let's take you down to the court side. So we have David Eldridge. Hey, Dave. Thanks very much, John. You are having your way inside the paint. What's allowing you to be so effective? Uh, my teammates are part of me. I think I'm doing a good job of trying to, you know, play with energy, run the floor, roll hard. Uh, being an athlete above the rim, I think, like I said, my teammates are part of me. I'm doing a good job of finishing. You are certainly being available to your team. Thanks very much. Back to you guys. All right, David, thank you. Stay tuned for the Fat Time Show is on. Third quarter coming up. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is right here. Say hey to the folks, Kenny. Hey, folks. Say hey to the yeah, folks, Shaq. Hey, folks. Hey, let's get this party started. Okay. Laurie Markkinen has been the story of this one. He had 13 points, three rebounds, and one block. He came in with something to prove tonight after having a very tough outing in their last game. And uh, Kenny, what you see out there from the Jets? It's always a positive sign to see assists like this. They're moving the rock with ease and keeping each other happy. It's a brand of unselfish basketball. And Shaq, your take on Denver? Well, they need to turn the heat up on D. Too often we saw them back on the heels, not dictating the pace. They allow the shooting percentage to be the high. Remind me of my free throw percentage, the high fifties. Come on, guys. And that should do it. With the second half about to begin, let's send you back to Kevin Harlan. Go back to Kevin Harlan. Go. Go over there. You've been watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And we've got your third quarter coming on to you live at Delta Center in Utah. We're back again as we are ready to step things up for the second half. All calls for continuous carpool soap. He's been smoking all this for his first half of the period. Only had receiving 14 points. Really wanted to close this gap out right by the Utah Jacks. Now the really tough thing is, in season four, it was the closest range that they were ever getting. They were really a stepping in prime. This was not their day to be here. How does it really happen when the Utah Jazz got worried to the founding the effort if you could try to keep on going? Well, I don't know if he did, but that might have been a really bad to hear that. I don't know what to say, but this wasn't the guy to be here before they get here in the first place. And I don't know what to tell you. If nothing happened, then don't be fooled. Vaughn could be an all one of type without the franchise players. We wouldn't have Mike Carney. We wouldn't have Donovan Mitchell. We wouldn't have Royce O'Neal. We wouldn't have Rudy Gobert. And of course, we wouldn't have one of them, which is all calls for Joe Angler, for sure. And let's say about this one here, as McDonovich definitely also was a starting lineup with his parents, he never saw what his message would be for the Utah Jazz if he were to play back with his team. Would he be able to do that? Well, it's going to be a close call. I don't think he would have been able to return to Utah ever again. He's been noticing for once, but his team really saying this, Detroit Pistons really love to see, like, Obama Madonich doing well of his improvement. Has to be like his own perception to that point. Nobody wouldn't like that one at all. I wouldn't care about that if I were that. And he hits two. They cut down by two with just 6.29 to go. And now here's Colin Sexton. He will give it over to John, to Collins. The back stepper is good. John Collins with eight points. They cut up it up to extend by four. You know what is here what John Collins does? He got a good feed side, good skill up challenge. Now, Gordon, over again. Rebound, oh! He took it back anyway! To slam that arc! And a cutting breakdown, passing Larry Markkinen. Not been decided about it, but this is not how you do. You don't get the fence anywhere. Trying to pass to Kessler. Over Jokic. Good, too, by Kessler. He has his first bucket, and he finally nailed it. There it is. Max Walker Kexler just gotta take it all for it. 
continue to Scarwell Pope on Colin Sexton. Murray is with Von Dunn. Down to five. And that layup got tricky, but Jamal Murray had no problem cutting him down to reverse that drive. It's a faster and easy to keep that eyes out of sight. Nothing you see, nothing you can't do. Marketing lost that two-pointer, and it's another miss for the Utah Jazz. Here comes an Irwin, and Katanius does it again. He ties this game up. It's a Murray with the assist. That easy was going to be a, like a fresh out. They are coming back down out there, nowhere to be found. Marketing. Give it again to Collins. He now finds the game to Dunn. Off to Marketing. The free for Sexton. Too strong. And it's holding by Jokic. Murray with the ball. Screen on Jokic. Watching it from here with a shot. And Kessler sends it back. What a takeout. And this one will go back over to stay with the ball for Denver. Nowhere he got to get this thing going. The Kessler would have had that one to take out. Schroffer checked in for Catavius Carmel Pope. Now Murray swings to Porter Jr. He finds Gordon. Murray, six on the shot clock. From elbow. Free pointer for Gordon. And an ever missed by Denver. Mile high team trying to look for a lead, but it's been too soon to take. Not an easier way to take, but you have to keep on going. You gotta look for some help out there if you want to play it smart on offense. You should to get there, you the wolf fall or you will play. This is a lot of hard ones that everybody's been doing. They are trying to get out with. Marketing and can't score with the drowning with the leadoff. And here comes Porter Jr. on a shot, and he has that lead up in front. First time of the night against the Utah Jazz with 345 to go. And Dunn gives to Collins. Collins gives again. Markinen tries the three. Boom! Markinen has 16 points. And a reporter for David Aldrich is Will Hardy. Have to try to really keep on strengthening him out. But this was in the day that he would have to be. Does he have more room to take? Well, we'll have to see what he can do. What a rejection by Kessler. And I never knew you could definitely take the rebound in Alcott, but that's a big blocking impact. Sexton finds Collins. Now he swings back to Markkinen. Markkinen over Porter Jr. Good! Markkinen with 18. 44 to 41 is the score. Looking for a passing career right by Contavious Carwell Pope. Gordon in the corner. Murray and a Channing on defense goes loud. Screen for Jokic. Spin. Free for Jokic. Another miss puts in. With under two for to go. And he's done. Driving again to Collins. He finds down to Kessler. Puts it again by Sexton. The bounce pass to Dunn over Murray. Around and good. Dunn with Sam points. And Sexton with the assist. The play by the inbound got a good screen out of him. Collins Sexton got a good pass to take the communicator right in between. That turned right. The layup puts in for Jamal Murray after assisted by Jokic. Timeout call by Utah Jazz with under two minutes remaining of 46 43 day. Could be a hard one, but not to be anybody that you can definitely play for. All hard ones go with the ones to take on. The NBA Rival Week on 2K Sports is brought to you by. American Express. Don't live life without. Ruffles, the official chip of the NBA. And by Starry Lines.
getting very close right now in the uh, Valley in the Rocky Mountains. If you're all in Mile High or Utah, thanks for joining us here for the uh, part of the game. I hope you would appreciate this one, and you can check out the last last uh, couple of regular seasons in Season 4 for the last part of the game for the Jazz and the Nuggets. That's right up here on the calling part of your screen. You can go check it out right up on the corner. That will take you right to the regular season game right from here. You know how fun it is. Reggie Jackson, he has a lot of uh, great pointage. Three wee assists in the game with two, only two rebounds. I might be happy enough if we love to see him do it again for the Jazz and the Nuggets in my high. That would be exciting. I like that one too. Thanks for the, for, thanks for the recommendation here, Terry. Anytime. Sexton finds again to George. George tries to swing to Hendricks. Down to six. Three for Sexton. He misses again. That's no good on the outside. And this one, he has to settle down now. Uh, he's been cold right now. He might be losing his streak. May not be a good day to be in. Jackson, big D. And this one puts a stop and now puts again to George. No Calliolinic tonight, and he is already like injured on the list. He's unattended. Hendricks now finds again. Clarkson on the outside looking again. Free good! Clarkson has five points. Now extends six. When you're looking at already offensive on the inbound, you got to pick the big attack, take it in. Braun missed the layup. Try to play it back. Braun trying to step out, and he made that layup in. Braun with another two pointer. And down to 45 seconds. Sexton looking again to George. George swings again to Clarkson. Clarkson, sorry. Collins again to Clarkson. Over with the two. Good! Clarkson with seven points. Just 30 seconds remaining in the third period. Keep on going. If you know that Clarkson got a good scoring drought, keep on pressuring him. Double man on him. Watson. And offensive foul picks up on Watson. That turns it over to Utah Ball. Good tight. That's a lot of helping defense to have the stomping drought and turn it over. Great day. You know, that's a hard communication out there, but it's a great one to call for it, and the ref got it in time with the signal. Sexton outside finds George. Back to Sexton. Sexton. With the shot, and not able to take it in. That ends the third quarter of 51-45 game, and Denver Nuggets looking to see if they can close this game out with a tough shots in between. Rocky Mountains of Utah and Mile High of Denver. We'll be right back after these month's messages. Don't go anywhere. You're watching the NBA Rival Week on 2K Sports. And now it's time to present your State Farm Assist of the Game. You know, an easier way to see when, when you're looking at a great assist at the passing angle, you have to go with your own favorite. You have to get that one perception in there. And that two-pointer keeps on going. It's easier enough to say it's a great one to keep an eye on it. Good help for Kessler. We're down to the final quarter. Hope you're having fun with us. Let's finish up this game in the Rocky Mountain. Now, here's the last group. George is with Jamal Murray. Jokic, he's with on John Collins. And then we have the other side right now. We have his Horton Tucker. He's on Contavious Garble Boo. And Larry Markinen on Aaron Gordon. And finally, Claxton on Porter Jr. Markinen, finally getting on Horton Tucker. Looks down to George. Bounce pass to Collins. Beats over Jokic. Great D on Jokic this time. He's putting up another rebound here, and now back again to Murray. Murray helping his team out, finding Gordon. And over again to Murray. Layup in. Gordon with the drive of the assist. And they're backing it down right by four. No way an easier drop scores. They're just losing their effort. Need to do something else and quick by quick. 
George for three. And he missed that again as his ball rolls in and out. Murray with the drive and he dunked it off. This one was coming to be a close one tonight, but Murray, you can slam it and you can dunk it. Chaz, lead by two. This one, Tucker. He puts it down, back to George. Down to six in the shot clock. Markkinen, going with another screen. Or Jokic. That two-pointer doesn't go in. Larry Markkinen try to like, try to fight for the feeling. And now, here's Contavious Carwell Pope. The tie it, no! Markkinen has it back. And the rebound puts in, as he has number four. You know what happens now, because if Murray Markkinen really had to give that one the pressure on him, he has to help him. This offense got a lot much harder than you think, but this was not an easier way to keep on going. Clarkson, over Murray, and scores it in! Jordan Clarkson with nine points, and they are back up by four. Now here's Murray. Gives it to Jokic. Porter Jr. up, and he got that one in time to stop on Horton Tucker. And Jokic with the assist. There's a lot of great assists here, but you need to do some else. Marketing backing step in right by Aaron Gordon. And now he gives it again to Clarkson. Clarkson gives it over now again to Marketing. Marketing. Three pointer. Here's George. Yeah, that one takes it away for him. As Jokic gives it to Hort, to Contavious Carwell Pope. And now with the drive, he ties the game. Just only four minutes left. They have a lot of time left before the time of the game expires. And now Horton Tucker gives the game to George. Back to Horton Tucker. He finds Markkinen over Gordon. Put it back in the lead as Markkinen has 20 points tied up with Contavious Carwell Pope. Easy look on the trap, got to make him feel out of it, and you have to stop it. Gordon, oh! Man, that one hand jam slammed it. And it's Murray with the assist. Hush the crowd, man. I have no idea how you can definitely do that for Murray to type. <laughs> the drive is out there for simple. Aaron Gordon, like, already wants to hush this crowd so he can stay in the game. Keep on pressure. Don't let him get away with that. He now finds Markadu. Over Aaron Gordon. Good. Another two for Markadu. That's 22. Three minutes left. Here's Murray. Finds Jokic. Collins on him now. Up at the two. Nice D by Collins. He shuts him down on Jokic. That's his fourth rebound of the night. And George on his way back down. He finds again to Markadu. Bounce pass to Clarkson. To finish the mark. Oh, Porter Jr. got a piece of it, and he stays up from the attacking zone. That hard one is going to have to, like, put up a payback on him. He'll have to put that one tomorrow. And Gordon put it back with a rebound after a miss by Jamal Murray. Wow. And he will have to just keep on going, to keep on working. You know, don't let it go away with that. You might have to, like, keep on rebounding it. It's a hard one that nobody likes. Timeout call by Utah Jazz with 2.25 left to go in the regulation period. Jazz need to find another uh, situation to get right into the work. As John Collins only has 65, there are a lot of players who are getting tired at it, and they need to do some offenses as well. They do. Mike Malone is having a little bit of a hard discussion right now. I think he may have made a good strength, got a good setup in between, he really did well, but his team never really made that change to put it in going fourth down. Might have been another uh, chance he would have done, but this isn't the way that what the coaches do. They have to like make the play calls in the screen. They really need to do some a lot of playmakings in between. Try to look it over, and just like every sports does, nothing they're gonna like tackle it out, and they're not gonna get it done. Probably they're going to need to do some a lot of changing up if they wanted to get from here. Let them work. Let them do their thing. Let's put it back in. 
And now we have some chance now to reveal you State Farm New Balance Player of the Game, Contavious Carwell Pope. Now the tough feeling about him, Contavious Carwell Pope has it all down. There's a lot of points to make the range out of him. Pretty hard, a lot of securing range, and does it for a game. Is enough now for Contavious Carwell Pope. That's what happens. You make them play an effort in the gun. Here's done. He only has scored seven points. And a report for David Aldrich as right now Laurie Markin and their team and against Murray. Hard to deny that one. But it may not be a, a great appearance if he wants to do this one again. Markin has a lot of range against score and, he's, and he has his quote to say, this is not what I do to do to deserve it. It's what I really have to do to try to woo at Goblin Covered. I don't want to leave the game and let it go with heartbroken with the fans. I want to do my best and try to do the best I can. Not to worry, you'll have to do it all. Jamal Murray with the assist. The team is up by two. And here's Collins. Give it again to Kessler. Rolling the valley over Jokic and this one's knocked out. Jokic again to Porter Jr. Ali Oop. Oh! My! Gordon! Denying that one to try and stop on a revenge out there. This is an day if you want to be here. Sexy. Will he do it? And no good again. Well, he's not ready out there. He's having a hard day. Jokic, finding in a hurry. 120 left to go. Deep three. No. Kessler gets again to Cox. Colin Sexton. And Marketing. Here's Kessler. Colin Sexton needs to find a new change off the tape. And he needs to look for some help. Looking for trouble. Done. Up again. Missed the three. Here he comes. And Carmel Pope slam it down. The Miami just really need to get this thing done out of here. Not the better way to be. Marketing scores the drive. And now they have to call it out of here to just try to make a new change off. And the intentional foul will be on Sexton. Well, there's no time now because they only have one foul to give. And they are sending him to the free throw line. Murray. Try to pull it in. Jokic up. Missed. And pull it back by Dunn. 30 seconds left. Here's Kessler. Finds Collins. To take the yard. Good. Just only two. But they need to try to stop him down. And the foul will be intentional on Colin Sexton. Now their team's at the free throw line. And this will be another one for Catavius Carwell Pope. Not easy to do, but you don't get that one uncomfortable. Two shots coming up for Catavius Carwell Pope. As the fans are on their feet, they wanted to make a miss. He hits the first free throw. If he makes the second, this will extend by four. And he makes it in. Jazz decides to take their last timeout with 23 seconds. And this was not their day to be like this. I don't know what you can tell, but this Rocky Mountain got a hard pressure to take in here. Is this going to be like a number win for the Jazz? Or is it going to be a blowout to stop out as the Denver Nuggets may take the win and they in that box? Well, I don't know if it is. I'm thinking there might be a huge take out. This trouble range may have been a closest on the car. I don't know what you could do, but hey, don't even know if you have a clipping range to type. Because right now you've got no timeouts left. You have to try to like believe on it, and you've got to do it. That's what you have to do. Don't leave the mask over. Yeah, it's kind of like hard to say right now. 
If they get close and by, if they make the three-pointer, it's going to be a one-point game. If they make the three, then they're going to need to tie this game up. If they don't make it in there, then unfortunately, it's going to be the end. That means there's no timeouts for the Jazz, and this is going to be a hard one to take. I'm guessing it's going to be a close one to take, but let's find out if they do. All right, we'll see what happens right now there. Thank you, guys. Let's get right into this. Done for three, and you bet. Back down by one. And Porter Jr. And we'll have to foul that one out. That's done with his second. And now the free throws on for Contavious Carwell Pope. Another free throw attempt coming in. Denver has two timeouts to remain here in the fourth quarter. Free throws good for Contavious Carball Pope. And he hits his second free throw. Last chance for the Jazz. Tie it or be denied. And here comes Markinen. Margaret needs to juice that clock down. Needs to find someone else. Done. In the corner. Clock is ticking down. Kessler. Kessler. Free. Will he get it? No! This one's over! And he misses the free pointer. No overtime. And this one's it. The team of Denver Nuggets stuck out the Jazz, 67 to 64. Let's go down to David Aldrich as he reports on a sideline with the player of the game. David, all for you. Thanks, guys. Aaron, big night offensively. What is clicking for everyone right now? Who's moving the ball? Moving the ball, man. That's a, a big part for our offense. Make sure the ball doesn't stick and that people making shots. It was really flowing tonight, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. All right, David. Thank you very much. And that's going to do here for the Rocky Mountain Series. With me, Senate Beast, along with Terry Cruz and Wood Spoonie, this has been a presentation of the NBA Rivalry. Thanks for joining us, and have a wonderful night. Get home safe, everyone. Son of Beast, thank you very much. A disappointing effort for the Utah Jazz. They were trying to make the three-pointer and the clock running down. This would have been a closest game that they were able to get. And this wasn't helpful enough to try to keep up their records in. Wow. And this was not the day that they were wanting to be here. Let's check out how they did with the tools, games, and the statistics of the team comparison. Both guys did well on the field goals range. Nothing was going to put up a lead off in between, but it was all that happened. Three pointers was only 38 for Utah Jazz. 90% for the free throws was only Denver Nuggets. Fast break was 14, 42 points in the paint, six second chance points for Denver Nuggets. And the bench points was 14 and assisted for 22 for the Utah Jazz. 10 and 22 was Denver Nuggets. One steals, only had to be two of them in between. Four blocks was Denver Nuggets, and three for Utah. One turnover and four points off for Utah Jazz. Two team fouls was given here for Denver Nuggets. Nine for the biggest dunk of the Nuggets. Biggest lead was nine, and 16-12 was their time of possession for the Utah Jazz. Denver Nuggets could have called their, their next timeout if they wanted to be able to juice that down, but too bad they didn't use it. Time for three star players of the game. Let's start off with number three, and this one devastates the crowd of Aaron Gordon. With 11 points, four rebounds, one assist, five out of eight field goals, one three-pointers, 13 performance, three dunks, and he just didn't really stop here. That was all that happened. But nothing to do, they make him clear enough to do it again. Now, moving on to number two, 
Laurie Markkinen with 24 points. He got in really well at it. Just got in great tackles. 11 out of 15 field goal range. Two three-pointers. One block made. Five rebounds. 27 performance was his effort to stop on Luka Dom on Nikola Jokic. And it wasn't the only plan that he wanted to do. And for your number one star, your New Balance player of the game, Contavious Cardwell Pope. He finishes off with 26 points, three rebounds, two assists, one steal on the block, with eight and eight and ten on the field goal, two three-pointers. And he was perfect at the free throw line, eight for eight, and 30 performance run. Three dunks was all it had to be. And that will do, folks. Rocky Mountain Series is done. We'll keep your eyes here for the last part of the NBA Rival Week before we hit step in to the playoff spot. I hope everybody's having fun with the day of the regular season to watch on NBA most of the time. And we do have a special announcement here for the their next place. So you'll stick around on the other side for the Anime Sandy Invitation of the next uh, of the next meetup. So stay tuned. That'll be the next thing here that we are on Animation Epics Channel. Peace out, folks, for a while as the NBA Rival Week on 2K Sports. And this is Paintbrush saying, have a great night in Utah of the Rocky Mountains with the Mile High of Denver Nuggets. See you all for the last NBA Rival Week. Who will that be? You'll find out soon enough. Adios, everybody. If you don't, Somebody will.